protect your home from home. Simple Caravan Insurance, sponsors of the Caravan Channel. Whenever caravanners and motorhomers get together, there are certain subjects that tend to crop up in conversation, and one of these is often toilets. So I think it's really great that at this year's Lou of the Year Awards, there was a special category devoted to camping and caravanning. We smartened ourselves up and went along to have a look. Ladies, anybody in? Inspector calling. The Lou of the Year Awards is a competition whereby uh, people who provide away from home toilets, that can be any away from home toilets, including public toilets, motorway service stations, airports or caravan parks, uh, into an award scheme where they can be recognised for the high standard of their toilet provision. Well, the campsite category is very important for the entrance because one of the, the, the prime considerations when, when people book a caravan and camping site is the toilet provision. So to get a five-star award in lieu of the year awards, or even a national award, is a very high standard accolade uh, for the providers. The Lieu of the Year Awards inspection has evolved over the last 24 years. We have now well over 100 ins different inspection criteria covering our female, male, baby change and accessible facilities across the different uh, 60 entry categories. Well, some of, the, some of the things that we look for, obviously in the cubicle, is the flushing effectiveness, it's the cleanliness of the, of the WC and the seat, um, it's the availability of toilet tissue paper, which is rather an essential requisite when you visit the toilet. When we come out, we need to find soap, we need to find something to dry our hands with, we need, hopefully, to find hot water, because you can't wash your hands effectively in just cold water. Then all sorts of other things which could be supplied, depending on where you, where you find yourself. In other words, whatever different category it is. Obviously, with regard to entrance from the caravan and camping sector, uh, this is very important from their customer's point of view. So the people that pay to use caravan and camping sites need good toilets. They are away from home, and although they've got facilities in their motorhomes or in their caravans, they would prefer to use the site's facilities, and they want to feel like they're at home. So they want them clean, they want them accommodating, they want them to be really, really good, good toilets. When we score a, a, an entry, we have a different inspection criteria, as I say, for each of the f different facilities, and then we, s we have a grading scheme, 0 through to 5. Normally when we enter, we, we like to think that it's going to be an average 3, because our awards start at 3 stars. That's a basic entry level for a Lure of the Year award. And then if, you, if you're impressed with the various criteria and in all, in all the facilities, you can get up to a four and hopefully get up to a five. The award of a five-star certificate is, is recognition of a very high standard of toilet provision. From there, five-star winners have the opportunity to win national awards as well. And both the five-star winners and the national award winners are seen as being very high-class providers of caravan and camping sites. And they proudly display the certificates on the entrance to their sites. I think that if I would give a tip, it would be the, the M word, that's management, which isn't necessarily toilet tissue or soap or whatever. It is actually depending on the usage factor for the particular facility, is to have a level of inspection, um, check visits if you like, on an hourly, 30 minute, 15 minute basis, which ensures that when people come in for that first wow, hopefully, impression, the facilities are in a fit for purpose state. Because if, you know, checking um, a, a caravan holiday park toilet once a day is not good enough, uh, because people will be coming in all through the day. And in a restaurant, if the, ca if the tables or cafe, the tables aren't checked, cleaned until the end of the day, then I don't think I'd be visiting many of those establishments. So the same applies for toilets. A good case scenario would be not just provision of uh, running water to wash your hands and a toilet to, to, to use as well, but also things like mirrors, like coat hooks, like flowers in the toilets, for example, which gives it that home appearance and generally the wow factor when you walk into the toilet. I'd be disappointed in a toilet that didn't have hot water, or there's any cold water. I'd be disappointed if there was no toilet tissue in, in the ladies' cubicle, there was no soap to wash your hands, the basics really. The only time I've been tapped on the shoulder is in some of the big supermarkets, when you go, you know, big supermarkets, you go into the ladies on your own, the CCTV always picks you up. So 
It's reassuring to find a, a security chap coming down and saying, excuse me, what are you doing in the ladies? I'm very proud to run Louis the Year Awards as it is seen by the media and all of our entrants as a really fun and important competition that recognises a very vital service.